Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been quite some time since I shared with you our morning routine and now we are one month away from our due date so I figured it was time for an update since we will be showing you another new morning routine once baby Everly is here. So in the morning we let the kids come and take their fires once they're okay to wake light turns purple and that kind of just gives us a minute to get our life together in the morning. I'm not a morning person in any way at all. So these fires kind of save our life. So Chris comes downstairs first thing while I'm kind of waking up. I do have to take Synthroid every morning because I have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. So I am taking that every morning while Chris comes downstairs. He'll let the dogs out, feed them, and make us coffee. Um, we have been together for 11 years next month and he has always made me coffee in bed since we've lived together so blessed to have him So once I'm done my coffee, I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready. I shower at night purposely just because our mornings are so hectic and we barely make it out of the door on time as it is. So I shower right before bed and then I get ready in the morning. But before I start getting ready, we're just going to make the bed together. Um, usually Chris will just make it um, or I'll just make it. But honestly, since I'm this far along, like everything, every movement actually hurts my stomach. So... <laughs> I'm grateful that he helps me make the bed. Another thing I do every morning is I put three drops of lavender, three drops of peppermint, and three drops of lemon in my diffuser. It just really helps me with my morning allergies. I have seasonal allergies pretty much all year long, honestly, but this combo just really, really helps. So this never happens where Tanner sleeps in. He's usually awake with Carter since they share a room. So I'm just going in to check on him. When I went to check on him, he was kind of starting to sit up. So I just wanted to make sure he was okay because he never sleeps that late. But it was a really gloomy morning as you can kind of see from the lighting and everything. So now he's on his fire lounging in our bed while I go ahead and start to get ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is just heat up my curling iron and then wash my face. So after I start heating up my curling iron, I am going to wash my face, do my skincare routine, and my makeup. So today I'm using the Tula skincare line. I'm using Super Calm Gentle Milk Cleanser. I have super sensitive skin all the time, but especially when I'm pregnant. So this has worked so well for my skin. If you don't know what Tula is, it's a doctor founded clean and effective skincare and wellness brand where 100% of the products are formulated with probiotics and superfoods. So I just feel really good putting that on my skin. And like I said, I have the most sensitive skin ever and this has worked out beautifully for my skin. I love that they're cruelty free and they never test on animals and they also focus on being healthy, not perfect, which as you know is pretty much my life motto in general. Tula was actually founded by Dr. Rashini Raj, who is a practicing gastroenterologist, entrepreneur, mom, and probiotics expert. So she kind of discovered that when you use probiotics for her patients, not only 
is it like helping them in every other way but it's also making their skin look great so that's how she created the skincare line with probiotics and probiotics are just super powerful they're natural and they help restore the natural balance of your skin's microbiome so it just really soothes and nourishes your skin and boosts appearance So once I'm done washing my face, I just go ahead and use their illuminating serum and then their super calming um, face lotion and then just put some of this rose glow and get it under my eyes. It just really helps with like that puffiness and the dark circles under your eyes. So make sure you go to Tula.com and use code Tiffany to get 15% off your Tula order. I'll have everything linked in the description box below, but again, it's the code Tiffany at Tula.com and that will get you 15% off your Tula order. So now that I'm done my skincare, I'm just going to go ahead and throw some makeup on quickly and curl my hair. So now that my hair and makeup is done, I'm just putting a little bit of Endoflex over my thyroid and that just really helps support my thyroid function. So back downstairs while I'm getting ready, Chris is getting the boys' lunches ready. He just likes the color on their lunch bags, you know, it just makes all the difference to them. And then the boys like to go ahead and color them in. I thought this was the greatest dad hack ever because not only is he decorating their lunch bags, but the kids enjoy getting to color them as well. And they always tell Chris like what an amazing artist he is and it's the cutest thing in the entire world. And he also, while I'm getting ready, will go ahead and get their supplements ready. The only thing missing from this right now that we usually have is zinc, um, but we're out of zinc, but the kids usually get zinc every morning as well. But just this particular morning, we were out of zinc. I also last night went ahead and just got all of their clothes ready. And now it's time to take their breakfast orders. What does your belly feel like for breakfast? English muffin. English muffin? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey Ella, what does your belly want for breakfast? Oatmeal. Oatmeal? Okay. Carter, what does your belly feel like for breakfast? Even though you're having that for lunch? Yeah. Okay. What do you want for breakfast? A bagel with cream cheese <laughs> and turkey. And so while I'm getting breakfast together, I'm going to also unload the dishwasher. We run the dishwasher every single night, even if it's not completely full. We just like to start our day with a fresh set of dishes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unload that. There's not very much on the um, top rack, but there was a lot more on the bottom rack.
While the kids are occupied and eating their breakfast, I'm gonna go ahead and pack their lunches. If you missed my last pantry organization video, you have to check it out because just this little snack organizer itself is amazing, but it just makes life so much easier being able to see everything, but also being able to like pick out their snacks and reorder groceries. It just really, really keeps me organized. So the one thing about their school is that with COVID this year, they decided not to allow lunch boxes, even their drink cups. They keep a water bottle at school that the school washes and everything that comes to school has to be disposable, which is why you'll see lots of uh, paper and plastic bags because that is all that their school will accept. So we have to label everything for their lunch and their morning snack and afternoon snack. Carter is going to kindergarten Monday through Friday and Tanner goes to the same school, which is also doubles as like a preschool and a daycare, but just two days a week. Next up, it is time to get the kids all dressed and do Ella's hair. She is the sweetest girl in the world and her hair is finally growing so she loves getting it done in the morning. Once they're dressed and ready, they're gonna go ahead and take all of their supplements. Um, we definitely wanna give them their supplements after they eat, otherwise it'll just make them really nauseous. So that is one tip I have for you. Do not give them any supplements on an empty belly. This is when the chaos gets really extra is when we're trying to get out the door on time. You also might see some of my facial expressions um, basically getting morning sickness all over again in the third trimester. So I'm struggling on this particular morning. Um, Ella always has to put her shoes on herself. Carter usually puts his shoes on himself, but on this particular day, it was picture day and he wanted to wear these boots that are really hard to get on. So um, that is why we are helping him. Finally, it is time to go ahead and get in the car. I have a diffuser going with some thieves in it in the car. I love this diffuser, it's amazing. It just makes me feel good for all of our immunity. Um, and then also, this is my breakfast. I'm just having a fig bar with some soda water on the road because that just really helps to settle my stomach in the morning. I'm usually a little bit better around lunchtime. So. Once we get home from dropping the kids off, I try to like pick up where I left off, just reload the dishwasher, wipe everything down, and give everything a good vacuum.
So thank you all so much for checking out our new morning routine. Before you know it, Everly will be here and we'll have another new morning routine. I feel like the reason our morning goes pretty smoothly is because we have a pretty good night routine um, in place. So let me know if you want to see our night routine and I will definitely make that video for you. But thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check out Tula at Tula.com and use code Tiffany to get 15% off of your Tula order.